we have another quite boring vacuum cleaner to go through today but one that I picked up very very cheaply from the car boot I wasn't really going to do anything with it for ages but I want to give it to somebody so we best see what's in this box mystery box for you anyway let's have a look Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? This is another one of those machines that every collector has had at some point. I had one a fair few years ago now, but it burnt out after not a lot of use. So, car boot last year, I saw this in a box by a store and walked straight past and went, I don't want to buy that and then find something better so we went all the way around we went Milton Keynes if you know Milton Keynes there's a bowl the Milton Keynes bowl they do a car boot and it's massive sadly haven't found any good vacuums there or if I have they've been so broken and trashed that I didn't get them so we went all the way around found nothing so I went back to this guy wanted a fiver for it I gave him three pounds and now I have heard that a friend of mine just wants a vacuum cleaner to clean his car car back and this is absolutely perfect for that I'll be honest so I thought we'd best get it filled up there won't be a refer there won't be an after video of this because it works okay I thought we'd go for it show you it and I can give it to him so what do we have well we have a hose little hose with a swivel end on one end um, it came with this turbo brush which isn't from it but it does fit it so I think I better look at that to him it will be for some generic rubbish horrible sort of flashing over condensation because it's incredibly cold at the time of filming this and I've just bought it from the car so we have a turbo brush that doesn't fit it but that we will give him have an upholstery brush very nice and brushes there very stiff dense brushes uh, a crevice tool a dusting brush with very stiff plasticky bristles you want to put this anywhere near the fine delicates as my basiac always says um, that I don't know what that is. We have an adapter there, which is it's actually one of those double-ended 32mm adapters. Not quite sure if we actually need it, I'll be honest. So we'll have a look at that. We have a floor brush, bare floor only, and there is a reason why they only put a bare floor only tool with these. Two extension ones from an upright vacuum cleaner doesn't I can't work out any it could be from anything literally anything there is no markings on it but again you see it all fits so you may as well have this because you know it can, it'll be all right for going into the probably only wants one it probably you know it'll be all right for the car it's not going to be we're not aiming for authenticity here this machine isn't one of those machines that we need to go balls out and make fantastic here because there's just so flipping many of them got off an air freshener drop in the box it's been in the shed for a while i think that's where this came from i think this is a riser for a monitor stand nothing to do with the vacuum and the vacuum itself which is here I'll put it back on Yes, it's one of these little bit. It's, it's a little bit damp because I got it out of the shed last night. I went, oh, I put that in the car, and then I forgot. And the next thing I know, Amy said, "Gosh, look at that rain!" I went, "Gosh, look at that!" Oh my god! I ran out and got it out. So it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of water on it, but it's fine. There we go. Look, Oric XL. The last thing in the box is actually this shoulder strap. So that 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 goes with it as well. <sighs> Empty box, right? Let's have a, a box anyway. 
Oh, the need not to peel up our over. Let's have a look at this little thing in more detail. It reminds me very much of a toner vac. Don't know if, if you work in an office, you'll know what a toner vac is when the, the printer maintenance company comes around and makes your life a living hell, especially if you're supposed to be on a telephone. And they come in and go blazing around, cleaning out the scrap toner from a printer. But yes, it reminds me of one of those. And they're quite cool little things. These were always generally bundled up with the uprights. If you remember the IKXL upright that we had quite a while ago now, these were always just bundled in with those. So they are everywhere. I think you could buy them on your own as well. That's also why they only come with the bare floor tool. I think it would have had two full size extension tubes. But the idea is that you either hold it like that or you put the shoulder strap on. Which, you know, just like any shouldery vac, really. You put the shoulder strap on. I can't bother to do it. But you basically carry it like a handbag. And then you can, you know, do what you need to do. So that's its basic premise. It's, you know, it's not a full size cylinder. But they do make ideal hardbacks. So They're basically the modern successor to the Hoover Porter Power in pretty much every single way. Get that out in a minute. Here is the ratings plate. I can't really read it backwards, but we have a 500 watt machine, OREC model type 2, BB870, uh, household use only, OREC New Orleans. Yeah, that's about it really. It does have a blower port on it. So you can suck as well as blow, and I'm sure if you do that with it and then turn it on, eventually it will destroy itself into a million pieces. But yeah, basically it's just a nice little hand vac kit. And they are quite handy, I'll be honest, if you, you know, just needed a little thing to have around. It's not going to be a deep, powerful cleaner. So, you know, don't go expecting it to be fantastic. But, you know, literally, if you need to do lots of stairs, your car, even for cleaning out of the vacuums, it would be okay. Well, you wouldn't want to pick up too much with it because, I'll take that out because that shouldn't be in there. It's tiny. This is its little dust box here. There's a little filter that sits in front of the motor. Which I now have to struggle to get back in. Oof, come on, one side. Oh, that'll do. And it takes bags, of which it had one in it, but it was utterly, utterly full. So, I bought some. Obviously I was going to do a before video anyway. And they came. Oh, I've even got a replacement filter. So I have a pack of genuine light bags. These cost me £5.99 for six. There we go. Look, because you can't HEPA flow one of these. Because they have a square. Well, you might be able to if you're really adventurous. But there's not much point. Little bag that sits in there. Just clips in. Then this part clips just oh no, wrong way around clips from the top down and then the little cam locks around and there we go we has a working vacuum cleaner with a bag let's put the plug in And it works. Now this goes to show the where's that cloth I had gone? This goes to show the rubbish of some of the commercials that had it like hold, held up by a bowling ball because it could barely hold its own weight. Up. But I'm gonna say for doing cars, you know, if you've just got the crevice tool nailed to it. It 
will be more than enough. It will be absolutely fine. And for the stubborn heart to reach areas or clearly out the engine of leaves, obviously you can put it into blower mode. And it's really quite good actually. It's just this nice simple little thing. Now the best check turbo tool works because I haven't checked it. It barely does anything. Maybe we won't get this away with the vacuum. I don't think that's really a problem with a turbo brush either. I don't think the suction's that sharp on this particular vacuum cleaner to spin a turbo brush. I mean, I've got a Mila one here, which uh, we might be down. Well, we can. We can just shove that in there and see if it turns. Yep, it's this turbo brush, this cheap, nasty, horrible, would have come with the budgetest, the budgetest vacuums, which would have then been, hurrah, it's a pets. It is crap. So I will not, sorry, I will not annoy my friend by giving him that piece of rubbish. We shall just keep it to these. We can have that, he might find a use for it, have those to get into the boots, and obviously the three general car tools, and obviously all of the spare bags. So yeah, if you see one of these, and they'll always be cheap, don't pay more than a tenner for them, unless they come with an Oric included in the box, etc. Because they're not, you know, they're not all that. But as a tool, if you need something to do a purpose, i.e. car cleaning, they're pretty ideal all round. Yeah. So there we go, really. Not much more to it than this. The Oric XL Model 2, or the little hand vac that comes with the upright, usually for free. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.